full of ruin. Why it here? I decided today to get up into the mountains and hopefully try out my new gold pan. I bought the Garrett Super Sluice and I'm really excited to try this out. I'm doing some exploration today. Hopefully I'll find a little bit of gold here. If not, well then I'll know if there, if, you know, that there's nothing here. So my basic plans for today are just to be doing some exploration some more up in these mountains here. I'm going to try out my new gold pan, see if there's any gold to be had here in this stream and uh, maybe look for some granitic pegmatite for more crystal locations. So hopefully you'll stick around and join me on my little adventure today. But I'm really excited to try this pan out because I've been wanting one of these for quite a while. I've heard lots of good things about them. Uh, lots of different people use them. And they just seem to be a great pan. And from what I can tell, compared to my old one, it's much deeper, much harder plastic, and overall just a more quality pan. And it's got really deep, little rivets here or whatever you call them it's gonna make it a little harder hopefully to lose the gold especially the really fine stuff around here because the gold that I seem to find find around here is really fine flower gold so I'll be happy if I just find that today very beautiful up here I love it Alright, first pan with the Garrett Super Sluice, I'll say one thing, it's a lot heavier than my old pan, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. I'm not used to it yet. Alright, I want to show you what's going on. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there's tons of garnet sand right up here with, mixed with black sand. And I've already panned this down, but I can't tell. There might be some gold in there, but there's something else in there with the mixed in with the black sand. It's like a colored, gold colored looking sand. I'm not sure what that is, but it's in intermixed with blacker sands. But in here there seems to be some really small gold, possibly. It's really tiny stuff. Again, I'm I'm really good at finding really small things. There's the, the gold colored sand it kind of moved down here, but this stuff is pretty staying here pretty well. So after a closer inspection with the magnifying glass, it's very strange. I don't think it's gold actually. Um, what it looks like. <sighs> What it looks like is a gold colored sand. It almost looks like sand grains that are clear with gold inside them. It's very strange and I don't think I've seen anything like it. I don't even know what it is. It must be very heavy because it's stained with the black sands. And it's, it's basically gold colored sand. It's very strange. I have no idea what it could be. Alright, I just did a second pan. There's no way I'm going to be able to get you guys to see this. It's right up in here. I used the magnifier. This is very strange looking sand. It's gold colored sand, but I think some of them, if not all of them, have gold inside the sand grains because there was one grain of sand, which you're not gonna be able to see. Uh, I thought about trying to get the magnifier focused with the camera, but there's a clear looking piece of quartz and there's these thin little wires of just shimmering gold inside of it. That's what it looks like anyways. I'm not sure if it is gold or if it's just the lighting of the quartz, but it looks as if there's tiny gold color wires within the quartz sand grains and they're extremely small and fine. It's very interesting. I've never seen really anything like it before. Then again, I don't have as much experience when it comes to gold prospecting. I've only been doing this for about uh, six years or so. I'll try it. You're, yeah, you guys aren't going to be able to see this very well. But um, the details anyways. Especially the way the sun is right now. But right there, it's that big chunk right there. That's the one that seems to have the gold wire inside of it. It's very cool. I'm definitely going to collect these in the little bottle that I have. If I had a magnifier, like a uh, microscope, that would be really handy to look at those sand grains because I'm pretty sure there's gold in them. Uh, what's Jeff Williams say? Angie, how you're gonna get wet? I'm smelling wildfire smoke all of a sudden. Huh. 
there was a fire not too far away from here, but I'm pretty sure they got it under control. But I noticed it was still smoldering when I came in, so maybe that's what that is. Hopefully. Now again, the rocks here are nice. Um, not that they're nice, but that they're nice. <laughs> anyway, they're nice rocks. Um, and they usually, they're also myelinated here and sheared from the detachment faulting in the area. I know from researching that sometimes you can get gold bearing fluids traveling with the lineations in the nice and the shear zone so you can get some uh, gold and like, kind of like banded zones and you can also get pocket gold so you can have areas where there's just a super concentrated area of gold and then there might not be anything else. Yeah, it makes me wonder how much that one prospector found not too far away from here. How much gold? It said very, it said small, so probably was just that. I got several locations with quartz veins that look very promising that I need to test with my rock pressure, which, by the way, is in the workings. Hopefully I'll have that completed within a month or two, or sooner. That would be really nice. Then we can test and crush up some good quartz and see what's inside. Looking forward to that. I got a lot of spots to check. All right, I got it down pretty fine. I'm liking this pan so far. It's just a lot heavier than what I'm used to. Again, I got some more red sands. There are just loads of garnets in these mountains. Nothing sizable, but I wish I could find a way to recover the garnet sand. If you guys have any ideas on how to do that, let me know in the comments. And here comes that yellow colored quartz sand again. Gold colored, I should say. It's very strange stuff because it's very heavy and it loves to stay at the top of the pan just like gold does. But it's sand, I can tell on the magnifier. But inside of it, it looks like there's stringers of quartz, not quartz, gold in it. It's really unusual. I might take it in and show it to one of my professors at the college. If I go back, the way things are going right now, I mean, who knows what will be happening. Maybe I can go in there and they'll let me use the microscope. And I could put some samples under it and get a real close-up look of it. Then I might be able to take some pictures to show you guys. Yep, it's in there again. It's just too small to show you. I can't get it really focused right. I know you guys would probably love to see it, but it's a little small. <laughs> Here we go, I'll try to get you guys to see it. Because I know you'll want me at least to try. But as you can see, as what I always do is blur out the camera. It's intermixed with the black sand. You can't, you're not really going to get an idea of what this looks like. Huh, very interesting stuff. Alright, well I've been driving up and down these roads for quite a while. It doesn't look like there's too much to prospect for up there. But I was trying to look for pegmatite looking stuff here. And I spotted this alongside the road, so I thought I'd come stop. Take a closer look. There's some smoky quartz in there. Which is a good sign. See right here. Can you see that? It's weathering out. Got the nice right there and looks like a pegmatite intrusion right through here with more nice up here. Highly weathered. Now these mountains were uplifted from the ground. They're metamorphic mountains. It's interesting how there's more mineral variety to the north of my location. For example, some of the places in the north where I filmed my videos, I found more variety like uh, barrel, the aquamarines, some more uh, uranium minerals, and some other things as well. The barrels seem to be in granitic rocks and pegmatites that are of Cretaceous age. And the mountains I'm in right now, the main the main plutons here are Eocene. There is a, a couple of Cretaceous intrusions, but those are on the other side, which I have yet to check out. I just realized you're probably having a little bit of a hard time hearing me with that AC going. So as far as minerals, uh, like the barrels and the aquamarines, garnets, as far as pegmatites go, it seems that uh, we have better luck, or I have better luck, 
finding such things if there's a decent amount of smoky quartz present. If that has anything to do with it, but every time there seems to be smoky quartz, there's always seems to be at least something. As far as gold goes, I have not had much luck finding gold, big gold anyways. I've always found just really small, fine flower gold. No nuggets, no pickers, nothing. One of these days, hopefully, I'll find some decent gold, but this area has been overrun with prospectors for over 100 years. So, and I've had people tell me the only gold left is load gold. There ain't no more place for gold. And according to one of my instructors, there ain't no more gold anywhere in these hills, though, no more. Yeah, it's starting to get late, so I think what I'm going to do now is head on down to the creek and do some prospecting down there on the upper section, a place I haven't been to before. There was one area I really wanted to get into when I first came here initially to these mountains, but it's private property. I swear, all the good places I want to go to are private, whoa, private property. All right, I think I'm going to dig some test holes right through here. And, uh, yeah. One thing about these creeks, there's tons of garnet sand, so I'm probably going to find lots and lots of garnets. I just want to show you this. The amount of garnets in this creek here is just insane. It is just red garnet sand. You see all those garnet crystals and shards in there? If there was some sunlight, I'd show you. Here we go. Look at all that. Just tons of red garnet sand. I need to figure out a way to collect this besides panning it. I'd make cool, uh, th that'd look really nice in jars or maybe in a fish tank or something. Pretty sweet. You can see all the garnet shards and sand pieces in here. That's a piece of garnet there. To move over here, you can see all that garnet. Look at all that. That's really cool stuff. Too bad it wasn't gold. Yeah, it's just tons of garnet. These mountains are absolutely loaded with garnet, but not gold, apparently. While I was sifting, I found this rock here. Hopefully you can see that, but there's garnets inside this rock that are falling out. There's a whole bunch right there near my thumb. There. All right, so I've done a couple pans, and there was just tons and tons of garnet sand in here. But I got a huge concentration of that orange sand, not the gold sand. There's like a difference. Uh, it's interesting stuff. I don't know what it is, but it seems to be heavy. Let me swirl it around a little bit. There, you got the garnet sand, but you see that more of the orange in there, right there. I don't know what that is, but it seems to be pretty heavy. Right there. And then there's that golden sand if I really work it slow. Very interesting. They've done some recent logging up here, which is great because they help expose rock. You can see this is weathered nice right here, or schist. And uh, let's go down the lower road, see what we can find, what the loggers tore up. That's some quartzy looking rock there, with almost like layers. That's interesting. I just spotted that right there. Holy smokes. This is about the only time I like to find biotite, is when it's this big. Ooh, it's really fragile. There it comes. Wow, look at that. That's a big book right there. I wonder where the heck this came from. Some more right here. I like to find the source of this stuff. I don't see any more though. Well, I just found something really cool. It's not mineral related, but it is geological uh, related. <laughs> here we have a whole bunch of nice, but look at this right here. Look how cool that is. You can see the ductile, this is a good example of ductile deformation. 
You see how it got offset right here from the shearing? This is like a highly myelinated or sheared rock. That's really cool how you can see that just get cut off and it slid over there. And you got the surface of the rock there. Here we have some more really interesting rock. You can see the little pegmatite intrusion going through this rock here. As well as over here. See that? I don't see very interesting minerals in it, but very cool. All right, well, I think this will conclude it for today. Got the trout my new gold pan and did a little bit of looking around. Got to explore some new places I haven't been to before, new roads. Uh, kind of hit and miss. Looks like there's a couple areas where it could there could be something. Other areas are kind of barren, mostly that nice rock, which is not really nice for finding gold and crystals. For those of you who stayed the whole time and watched the whole video, thank you very much. I hope you liked it. Anyways, this will do it for today. Hope to see you all in the next video, and you all take care. See you later.